What's going on everybody? Rob here, Trey of 2323 on my front porch with my flowers, my basil, my carrots, my... But this ain't about none of that. This is about, we're tuck pointing again, okay? So you're gonna tuck point your house, you're gonna grind out your house. This was my Craftsman, my Harbor Freight is in the garbage already, and this is a Matabo. This is a Matabo grinder with the regular masonry disc, okay? You definitely, definitely, definitely need one of these and some goggles because you don't want that disc to hit you in the face. So what I have is I have, you know your, your bricks right here are, you need to be tuck pointed. This needs to be grinded out and tuck pointed. So you got to grind out a big section like up to right here is pretty good and probably all the way down got to be tuck pointed. So I've done plenty of videos of tuck pointing so I'm going to start today but you see i did the whole front i haven't pressure washed it yet i done the whole front you see i got a fill in right here i done that last year this right here i got to refill and i was grinding that and that out but i made it to here so i got to break all that out and i started grinding but my gutter's in the way so you could do half butt where you could get the grinder to here and here and tuck point that but i'm taking this out but let me show you what i gotta today's like i could finish this today but what i want to show you right here is when you're grinding out see this little bit right here that's the old mortar that's stuck on the brick you have to get that off right there so i gotta grind make what i'm gonna be i'm gonna be going like meticulously making sure i get all this little bit off because you could put new mortar joint in here but this right here is gonna crack between if any moisture gets in between here and the brick or here in the new mortar it's gonna crack you want the new mortar on both bricks brick to brick so like right here and right here and i gotta get on the brick more right here you want the brick you want a brick to brick okay now in another video like right here that's gonna be easy to get down one two three okay like right here so you see there's brick there's this other mortar right here and there's a little mortar right here you want these brick to brick brick to brick so i i went through i did this whole side already i grinded out this whole side the best i can so today my main goal is gonna get the all this other little stuff out here to get brick to brick where i got a clean joint to fill in you see all this on the top i gotta get the top off of here so i could get it brick to brick like this is perfect right here this is perfect this is exactly how you want every brick that you're gonna tuck point because this right here you give it more of a chance to crack back out and you don't want it to crack back out okay so i'm gonna do that to this side and okay like i said before when you're grinding out it's best to have this this way now you see i gotta take one piece off because this right here is too high it should be down in here this way you're not hitting with everything but you're facing you this way and this is how you're going through right here and this is one right here you see the higher part this right here got to be grinding out this is good the bottom part is good you got to see the brick like that so i got to go piece by piece but let me get my grinder in order and you got to wear protection if this if this breaks it'll impact and go into your skin and the dust will go into your eyes when using this i i can't reiterate it enough do not take that protector off because you're hitting this brick and if that chips or cracks it's gonna go on you if don't wear a cheap breather mask wear a good one because this stuff will get in your lungs Okay, you see, I'm brick, I'm brick, I'm brick, brick, I'm brick. And then, see, this is a little bit of paint that's coming off because these bricks are painted before. But you want to do your up and downs first. You want to get these first because if you chip it, boom, 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 you chip it, at least you're going to hit the mortar that's here and not the one coming up and down. So I'm going to finish 
all I'm really doing with this is I've done this all before. I'm just making sure I'm getting it brick to brick. Right now I'm just fine tuning it before I start tuck pointing it. This is my beautiful <laughs> wife. Okay, so I'm grinding in right here pretty good. See all that? Brick to brick. Like I said, you can see it better right here. The bad thing is the sun is hitting me from this angle. So when I'm looking this way, man, it's in my eyes really bad. But I got to go with the ladder now to get... I'm not doing the whole pillar. I'm just doing it up to like right here. I got a set line that I want to do it to this year. Then next year, I'll just do the other part. What you see is brick to brick. Shade of orange. The orange, orange, orange. I'm going all the way to the bottom brick and the top brick. So I got to get the ladder to get start getting in this. See how there's some in the bottom still? Well... You want the grinder lower than you like it, kind of waist height right here. You want the grinder looking up about waist height. And you don't want it higher because instead of going, the stuff hitting you right here, the stuff hitting you in the eyes like this. So I'm going to get the ladder. Okay, come on. My boogers. I'm going to change this now because you see how small the disc got. So I'm not getting as deep as before. But uh, perfect. I mean, this is perfect brick to brick. See this right here? I got to go in with the shade. It's not giving me a, a good enough view. But then when you get to this side, don't try to fight it and this, that, and the other. All you do is get your screwdriver and you turn the, the, the shield for this around and come in the other way out the disc this was the disc right here but look at the difference in size that's how much of the disc was used and about a quarter inch all the way around of the disc was used so that's about a quarter inch that you're not getting in there all right this was a screw on one they're pretty cool but the other one i had is not a screw on one but you see it goes all the way up back to the grill right here now the safety guard and see how much that shrunk in from the safety guard so i just switched out the disc but not only that your thickness and your penetration lessons so you're kind of spinning your wheels wasting your time because the thicker disc and the more penetration you're getting you know people say well you shouldn't grind out or you shouldn't uh grind in that deep or whatever but this is like three bricks deep so i could grind in like three quarter inches or an inch and i'm still good right here so i'm going as deep as i can because i want a thick bead of mortar in there Okay, now I got a turbo washer on there, the spinner one, because I'm gonna get all this dried mortar out of here. Because when I mix all my mortar, I'm gonna have a set, and if this dried stuff gets into it, it's gonna dry it out a little faster. With the turbos, you always gotta start down. Okay, so now all that's cleaned off. All right, this is what I use. Pro Finish by Quick Right Blended Mason Mix Type S. Okay, that's what I use right there. I use that right there. I got about one third of a bag in there. This is my brick red dye right here. When you're buying your tuck pointing equipment, don't get the cheap stuff. Buy the good stuff. Your welds on these won't hold. You buy the good stuff. These little things, the handles break off. So you need a bunch of different ones in for you're able to mix it. And then you need a hawk. Because the hawk is what allows you to tuck point. And then you don't know what size tuckers you're going to need. So if you're going to get different, two different sizes, three different sizes of these. All different sizes. Keep your brush with them. So you just clean it off right here. 
So I'm gonna mix this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some red dye in it first. Last time I put the red dye in it after it was up to consistency and I had to mix it so much more. Red dye is going in it first. Everything is washed, ready to be tuck pointed. I have my ladder where I'm gonna start. And like I says, I'm going from this point down. I know that gotta be tuck pointed, that's a different year. I've been doing it phase by phase, phase by phase. I'm working, I don't have time to do all that. I wanted to get this pillar at least done today so I could move the gutter and put the gutter back. That was my goal for today, okay? This is all prepped to go, so since I'm mixing, there's still a lot of daylight, I'm gonna get all of it done first, right now. I'm gonna find out what trial I need to do all my up and downs. I'm gonna do half the up and downs first. Half the up and downs first, and then I'm going on my crosses, then I'll do the other half and up and downs, then the other crosses. You don't want it completely messy. You want it a, a consistency like to make a snowball. Yeah, I don't get paid for advertising. Okay, this is the red dye. If I could get it open, I might need my screwdriver. Ha! This isn't my minimalist survival knife anymore. This is my Smith & Wesson. And if you watch my channel, you'll know why I carry a bigger Smith & Wesson knife now. There's your brick red dye. You don't need the whole thing. The water is actually going to turn the rest of it uh, red. Get out of the way. And you got your water. And the, the water is going to make it all red. See? Look how much that stuff spreads. All right, just that easy. Just wash it that easy. Okay, the smaller one's the one I'm gonna use. This is gonna be in my pocket right here. Then I'm gonna back use up. So what I'm gonna do is load my hawk right now. And this is the best way to do it. I honestly tell you, the part that's gonna be hardest for you to do, you do first. Whatever is gonna be hardest for you to do, you do first, because you don't wanna do that when you're tired, because that's gonna be too sloppy. So you hold your hawk. You get your tool, oh, it's on this. And then you go to the hardest part and you do that first. Cause then everything else is gonna be downhill from there, right? So I have the gutter moved to the side, right there. The gutter moved to the side, I'm on the ladder. And that's the part I'm gonna do first. I say you do your up and down first. This is just a clear wet paintbrush, nothing on it. And if you can't get your line smooth, if you wet this a little bit, and you, you're able to get your lines a little bit smoother, this is just a little bit something for you to try if you can't get your lines perfectly smooth. You just wet it, but there gotta be enough so it can wet the top portion of your uh if you wet the top portion of your mortar you can smooth it some with a wet paintbrush also with your mortar you don't want a shelf right here you want a little bit smooth indention because you want the water to be able to go down your brick you don't want the water to be able to sit anywhere and freeze in the winter time Oh, 
slap with me if you will. I gotta turn you. Slap with me if you will. But I told you I use the sometimes my hands. So what I'm doing is I'm packing about four or five length of, of corners. I'm doing just the corners. And we're not no, not I got in line. Not just the corners. The corners and the up and downs by hand. And then I'm raking the rest of the brick. People are like, well, that's not cost effective per hour. As I said, this is my house. I'm doing it the best I can. I hate corners. I hate corners trying to get them perfect. So what I'm doing is I'm packing them by hand and then I'm coming back with the uh, trowel. Then I'm packing them, uh, I'm raking them with the trowel afterwards. Okay, home stretch on this front right here. I got one more corner to corner I gotta do on the other side. And then it's pretty much free straight lines. Uh, I showed you how I did this right here. And actually, uh, this was my goal for today. So I can put my gutter back on right here. So if you say, why is my video so long or whatever, I kinda, show you exactly exactly I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything or show you exactly what I'm doing I use this I use my hands I use a little paintbrush to try to get my straight lines but I knew I had to luckily I didn't have to Okay, I gotta work tomorrow, so that's more than likely it for the kid. I got a little bit more to finish on this pillar, and then that's it for the kid. See all this like white color? That'll all come out when I pressure wash it. That's just dried mortar. So all that's gonna come out when I pressure wash it. But look at all the way around, it's done. I can put my gutter back. I can put my gutter back. I did those rails down there like a while back, and they were okay, so I went down there. But these, I'm going all the way down. And this is filled in right here. I know the top row right there already. So this is filled in. I got to come from here down. So I just got to mix that little bit of mortar. But I already did this corner that way. So next time, I just got to do these. Next time, probably Tuesday, it's going to be so much easier. Tomorrow's going to be so much easier. I had one inner corner, outer corner, outer corner, outer corner, inner corner. So this right here was just a pain in the butt today but i could go ahead now and put my gutter back in and this side is completely done other than pressure washing in about two weeks okay let me finish up here uh water in the grass already washed everything down i put my uh drain pipe back on right there i pressure washed up to here before i started but i'm gonna dawn i i use i foam it with dawn before it dries then i pressure wash it off with a turbo so uh, that's done. I put that back up right there. I started coming around the corner right here. You see, I had to remix them. So that when I remix it, it's a little bit redder than the other stuff. I don't mind, but I am going to mix it more redder. The difference really was with the redder, it was a lot more watery uh, tuck pointing, a lot more watery mortar than the other side. But it, I mean, it's still holding. I'm going to pressure wash it with the sun. It's going to fade anyways. So all this is done. There's a little spots on the that I want to finish and I got to get the gray all the way around holding those main pillars up Right there, but I'm not doing the main pillars till I finish the other side because I still got to grind out the whole other side on the inside of this porch Because what happens is these Tend to wither the mortar gets dried out and old and they start to crush on each other so even if I do this whole side and don't do the other side but I finished these bricks, the other side is still weak where it could have fallen in. So I want to do the other side. So tomorrow I'll be able to finish all this down here. And that's grinded, that's ready to go. I'll probably wet it, hose it down again, and then go ahead and put there. And this is done all the way up to probably about right here. Next year I'm going to do the top part. The back of it is dirty, but it doesn't have to be done. 
why would I go ahead and mess that mortar up? It's perfect, it's old, it's solid in there. Don't get as much sun. This gets sun baked. So that's all that's done. Look at that. Perfect. And I don't know what I'm doing. A lot of people say, well, they're uh they're out of work, they're out of a job, and yada yada yada. Hell, two people asked me how much I hired while I'm sitting here doing my own house. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.